Hi, I'm Sue Metcalf, and we've been at Grace for 21 years. My name's John Metcalf, obviously Sue's husband, and uh, this is home. Um, our three children are here, have been here, and our grandchildren are now here. Um, and, and yeah, this is definitely home. Hi, I'm Stuart, and this is Emily, my wife. And these are our two kids. So this is Molly. How old are you? Seven. And this is Toby. How old are you? Five. But what are you nearly? Six. <laughs> How many days? <laughs> awesome. We moved to New Zealand in 2001. Um, Stuart, who's our eldest, was 16 at the time. Damien was nearly 14 and Claire turned eight. And it was quite a big move. We moved from Zimbabwe and it was just, we knew nothing about New Zealand. First day at Grace, we came to this big church compared to where we were in Zim. Immediately they found us and had us up front at the front of the stage telling our story. We were also new Christians at that stage. We were, we had moved from Malawi and spent two years back in Zimbabwe. And during that time, we'd all been baptized. So it was very new. It would have been a very easy point for us to turn away if it hadn't worked out. After coming to Grace, we joined the youth group. And I remember that being quite a scary time, coming from a new country, trying to get used to a, a new culture, a new environment, and very quickly got welcomed in, very quickly felt a part of the culture and what was happening, so much so that when it came to the end of year 13, I actually joined the leadership team on the, on the youth group side and spent 12 years serving there. 12 years which I consider to be some of the richest of my life so far. So yeah, I was kind of the same. Came over for youth group and um, if I'm absolutely honest, wasn't quite ready for Easter camp to finish. <laughs> so <laughs> decided to join the leadership team. Um, best decision ever, because we one got to go to um, Easter camp, but two got to see a um, group of young ladies sort of grow through their high school years. So from year nine through to year 13. Um, during that time we met, uh, married, um, and then it was time sort of for the kiddos to come along. And then that's kind of led us here now. Um, we serve the young families here at Grace, um, and there is a lot of them. There's a big boom of them, which is just so precious seeing this new generation coming through. Um, the other little bit that I do as well is um, work for the Strengthening Linwood Youth um, Trust Board. Um, I've been doing that for eight years now. Um, again, I just so value that at Grace, it's so family orientated. So through that time of serving, I've been pregnant, I've had a young baby, I've breastfed, we've had to do um, meetings in the creche while my crazy kids play in the background. Um, but through all of that, I could keep serving and be part of this bigger picture um, at the capacity that I could do. And and I feel like even now, um, I'm finally seeing myself get um, the fruits of that and get to be part of this big picture that God's painted for this trust. And um, I get to play my little part. So it's been a really special time that doesn't disqualify me because I'm a mum um, or I'm in the midst of chaos, but we can still serve and be part of a big picture. Yeah. I think one of the, one of the best things about, about um, having family here is just seeing how they grow um, with the teaching. You know, having, having seen that our, our two boys and Claire come through um, youth um, and, the, and, you know, being led and taught and pastored and cared for is, is really um, comforting. And now we're seeing our grandchildren come through the same thing. It feels like the church is our family. Yeah. Um, but not only that, knowing that my parents are here every Sunday, my kids come along, they see their grandparents, they see all these people that we know. I think our hope for the future was even sort of evident today as I was standing in the back of church and when um, all the youth group walk out um, after their moment of worshipping and just watching these young people worship, I'm like, one day Molly and Toby will be standing mm. in that group worshipping because that's what they've been exampled. Um, I think we so value that Grace um, doesn't disqualify kids. So looking ahead at, um, and, and, and as we grow and develop and we get Tuam Street up and running, uh, we, we just can't wait. We're just so excited about that, the prospect of what that building's gonna do for us and the facilities it's gonna give us 
and, and how as a church we can grow and reach more people in the city. Uh, it's just um, hugely exciting and, and, and we're longing to get there. If we need more capacity to let more people in, then I'm all in, you know, like I want people to come to know Jesus. I want people to meet with Jesus. I want people to come to a place where they feel loved and safe and valued. I want them to be free to do so. Um, and I don't want the limits of our building to be the thing that stops them. When I think of my grandkids in there, you know, and I think, I think that them being there, their children being there, you know, this is going to be there for the generations. And what, what better can they grow up with than have a facility where they've got everything they need to develop their, their Christian faith and to grow and to love God more and to serve God more. Um, I, I, I just think that's, yeah. It's an answer to prayer. I want to be able to, to see the church do more than it does now for our community and for the communities around the world. I, I just think for us it's an opportunity and I just see it as, as a real step forward for what we can do, what God can do mm. in, in this nation and in this city and um, I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. We're excited about it. <laughs>